Hello everyone, this is Builder Shed here, and today we're go I'm going to introduce you all to Arco Linux. Arco Linux is an Arch-based distribution of Linux based around, well, learning Linux and becoming sort of a power user. It's basically like, like a little lesson plan already laid out for you. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. I'm gonna do this in two parts. What the? And this is the first part. We're going. I'm gonna do go an installation, which is uses Calamaris. I'm also going to go over some of the philosophy of Arco Linux right here on its website. And yes, there are several different versions of them. If y'all didn't know, so yeah. So first up. We gotta do a little auto resize and go this way. Is this showing up? Yeah, I think I might as well make it. Yes. So right here is Arco Linux's install, well, greetings page. Here it says, welcome to Arco Linux. We advise you to clean your computer with Gparted before installing. During the Calamaris installation, many options will be open to you. You have the freedom of choice, and the links below will get you started on Arco Linux. We communicate with our community via diversity of social media. Do you join us to learn the latest news, ask questions, or for casual talk? We appreciate your feedback and donation. Learn back, have fun, and enjoy the Arco Linux name. So, you have a lot of links down here, of course. So, the user is live user and a password. There ain't none. Yeah, there's also a bunch of stuff. And to be honest, how they got this desktop set up is actually very nice. I, I like how they got the menu down here set up. Like, this is... Probably one of the best builds of, what is it? Oh yeah, XFCE. I've seen in a while actually. It's kind of competing with Manjaro and Endeavor. So yeah. So I'm gonna do the beginner installation for y'all because Arco Linux is not diving your head immediately to. It's not about diving your head. Or whatever into the deep end. No, it's about walking in the shallow side of the swimming pool and then slowly progressing towards the deeper end. That's what it is. So yeah. So right here it says welcome. Welcome to the Arco Linux and Stars. This program will ask you some questions and, and set up Arco Linux on your computer. So of course I think it just detected my location. Or not location, my time zone, yeah. Here's basically basically the keyboards. I think we all know what I'm going to select, though. Like, this is better. Like, literally just work. Yeah. The whole fellow's back. So now I've got this. Erase disk or manual partitioning. If you're doing this on hardware, I'd advise going through manual partitioning, but most of y'all probably won't do this in a virtual machine, so let's just click erase disk. Full name, build shit. Arco Linux VM. Next, so this is the overview, quite self explanatory stuff. Yep, the Arco Linux installer is about to make changes to the to your disk in order to install Arco Linux. You will not be able to undo these changes. That's basically the rule of thumb here, okay? So now, while it's installing, I'm going to basically tell y'all. I'm going to show you all the philosophy of Arco Linux. And for that, I'm going to do pop open Firefox. 
on here. I'm going to go to Arco Linux's website. It's Arco Linux.info. Yes, it is. So that kind of lacking. Nope. So, y'all have already seen this page. It sounds like they just brought in a new left WM thing. And, it, and this right here kind of shows you all the philosophy. It's like a Linux university, sort of, basically to teach you to get better about getting better at Linux. Linux for the power user level. So, here you got Arc Linux apps to watch out for. Arc Linux Squeak Tool. Install all desktops. Learn, have fun, and enjoy. Arc Linux Spices application. Install our Arc Linux packages on any Arch Linux based distro. I might, I might as well actually do that here. Arc Linux Desktop Trasher. Remove the desktops after installing them with ATT. So yeah, like there's some other stuff, and they even got a Discord, Telegram, and they got a YouTube. And if y'all didn't know, they have a YouTube channel. If I'm correct, what? No. Yes, so. So, if you're when you're downloading Arco for the first time, I heavily advise doing Arco Linux X. I think it's L. Yeah, XL. So, I if I'm correct, that's one I did. And I installed it on. Well, yeah, and it's also the one for the basic ones. So, what you want to go is start here, Arco Linux editions, and this is basically it. Got the flagship. So Arco Linux has four major editions: the flagship, which is XL Extra Large, Arco Linux ISO Complete, Default Desktop XFCE4, blah blah blah, the whole collection. Have fun and enjoy. Yes. I think I just got the ship version. XL Extra Small XS. XS equals Extra Small. Excess LTS, extra small plus the LTS kernel, long term support. And so, if this is more minimal, still has many stuff over here, but if you don't want to do much, but if you like have slower internet, I guess you can go with this one. Then you got the bear. Oh boy. Which literally is minimal, default, no desktop, no desktop, add any desktop, not theme, no Bluetooth, no printer, no network, yeah, this is practically just a, right here, I'd call this the bloated arch install, okay, <laughs> yeah, no Bluetooth, no printer, no net, whoa, 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 you, I'm sorry, this is 21st century, this is not 1980, PPC says neither networking, nothing. Literally, yeah, nothing. Learn. 1.4. Yes, yes. You better learn, peeps. And you got B ISOs. Choose desktop, build desktop. Minimal. Choose your desktop. One desktop. Add any desktop. Themed. Bluetooth printer network. That's that's more what I'm talking about. Minimal software. Yep. Asterix, of course. Have fun. Enjoy. 1.6. 1.9 gigabyte ISO, 64 bits, add more software. Like, yeah, this is basically what they all come with. And they also got a bunch of testimonials and stuff. Get back to 100. Jeez. So now what I want to go off onto is the learning path. Basically to go to the learning path. Like that's still installing, of course. 
So here they say we recommend you to do recommend you do a lot of clean installs. Because that's part of the process. AK, do not use it on your base machine unless you feel like you're at a good point. Like if you're going on the learning path, okay? AK, use a virtual machine. You're on the learning path. Put your data online via online services or put them on a USB slash hard disk. Thankfully, I got several of those. Or you just shove them on your phone. Like that, that is an option now. You just mount, you just open up your phone, just put on your phone, just get the connector, just shove it all over. Especially if you got an Android, that's especially easier. 15 minutes later, you're back on a newly installed operating system. This can be an approach to cover the abundance of information provided on the websites, our form, and on YouTube. Subscribe to YouTube and find solutions to improve your Arco Linux experiment experience. So, right here, I think this is person's channel. Yes, this is the channel of the creator of Arco Linux, Eric Dubois. Also. Yeah, I, if you're into Arco Linux, I'd especially recommend subscribing to him. You know, from what I've heard, and there's all and there's other people that use Arco Linux too. There's a big per, there's one of the big creators out there, DistroTube uses Arco Linux, if I'm correct. So yeah. So you got phase one: try out our flagship Arco Linux L and select the option that best. That is best for your hardware at boot time. Do not select anything yet in Calamaris. Too late. I'm already installed. Only get on our virtual machine, okay? Arc Linux gives you a lot of freedom during installation time. With freedom comes more complexity and need for more knowledge. We give you both. Enjoy XFCE4 and all the free and amazing apps already on your system. Use the time to learn how to update and maintain your system. Use the time to time how to install and remove applications. Learn the keyboard shortcuts. Learn about aliases. Learn about skill. And actually, think about it. This may actually be the perfect distro for a beginner. Beginner. Or sort. If they want to go a bit further. But if someone's into Linux, I just say, download Oracle Linux, try it out. Then you got Phase Two. After learning XFCE4, you can try out other desktops. Choose your next desktop and download the Oracle Linux B ISO. You can choose Mate, Gnome, Bungie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Plasma, the whole collect, basically the whole collection. It's all software you have learned in Phase One and more from inside, inside Calamari's. At this time, we do not recommend a tiling window manager yet. I've already been doing tiling window managers. At this time, we do not mix recommend mixing desktops yet. However, start learning the keyboard bindings that all desktops have. You will need them in the TWMs, tiling window managers. Download. Oh, yeah. And now, phase three is where you basically look into the other desktops and TWMs, a.k.a. Awesome window manager, BSPWM, DWM. Essentially, the whole collection. You got Qtile, X Monad. Yeah, we get into geek territory here. Some will be new to you, some will not make sense to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the X Monad config. And some will be too complex. Yeah, X DWM. <laughs> it's more like X Monad. We choose a desktop, CWM. FBWM, ISWM, JWM, LXQT, Openbox, UQ, UQI. We choose a TWM. So, awesome, BSBWM, DWM, HLWM. I don't know, is that the Half Life Window Manager? I don't know. I3, QTile, Spectrum, um, as I like to call it, X Monad. The extended ISO contains open box and all TWMs we have. Download an Arch Linux B ISO with the desktop slash TWM of your choice. Do a clean install, aka load a virtual machine first. Phase four. We now have notions of main desktops and TWMs. You can easily find your way into their settings and or configs. 
It may be time to make things more complex. We turn to power users. You can use our Arco Linux tweak tool in the Calamars installer to mix desktops and TWMs on the same PC. Oh boy. <laughs> You'll experience that some desktops will look off. You'll have to find the knowledge online to overcome that. Yes. So, <laughs> Kno, <laughs> me and the boy is going to be using the Kno, using GDU, GDE slash GNOME. Okay? That, that's our policy here. As well as awesome BSPWM. Phase 5. By now you have experimented with a few desktops and or TWMs. You may want to stick to one particular desktop and such or maybe one TWM. You can download the Arch Analytics B ISO of choice or you can build the ISO yourself. <laughs> That's if you got to the point. That's if you got far enough. At Arch Analytics you can create your own personal ISO with all the packages pre-installed. Or how to build an ISO at ArchAnalyticsB.com. Phase six, you know your application, services, and settings. You require her for each desktop or TWM. Installing or maintaining applications comes easy. Maintenance of your OS has no secrets. And maybe you start with Arch Analytics B ISO. Two options, install bare version of Arch Analytics and run your own scripts to install desktops, apps, and configs. Original purpose of Arch Analytics D. Or number two, Use the Calamars and options to install desktops and applications. Download Arco Linux D ISOs and do a clean install. Previous phase has prepared you for this one. So now we're on phase seven. If you're comfortable in a TTY, you have sufficient knowledge to administer your system in a terminal. You can install Arch Linux D Archway. Basically, the command line. Calmaris is not present. You're booting up in a blank screen. It is time to type every single command to get a working OS, which, if y'all have ever done the Arch Star Look at Command, it's not even that hard. <laughs> y'all, at this point, you even a noob can install Arch Linux. Like, they, like, they're actually coming quite far when it comes to the built in installer script, so. You might as well install Arch these days, but yeah. That and now it says is download the Arch Linux ISO and do a clean install. Phase eight. At some point, you may want to learn how to create your own distribution based on Arch Linux. At first, we recommend you visit the ArchLinuxISO.com um, for the Cal Carly project. Carly stands for Customized Arch Linux ISO. Not only will it explain how to create an ISO, but also everything that is linked to it, like repositories, keys, build, Calamaris. Follow the menu Carly and read and watch any tutorials from Carly 1 to the last one. See it as binge watching. There is a lot of knowledge in there and to overcome any issue. You can only build from the build the last Carly. Secondly, we recommend you visit Ace ALCI. The online ALCI stands for Arch Linux Calamaris Installer. Here you'll find a condensed list of articles and, and, and tutorials. Jeez, what's wrong with my pronunciation anymore? Native English speaker, you can't pronounce it worth crap. What's wrong? The only goal here is to add Calamaris to the Arch Linux ISO. The website is a concise list of minimal requirements to screen ISO. Carly goes much further. So now I basically got over. And Arch Linux is done installing. And I'm gonna check how far we've only gotten 20 minutes. And yes, some of my videos have stretched to 40, but that doesn't mean I have the full on excuse to go to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stop this in a bit, but yeah. So after reading all that, like I said, I feel like if you want to become sort of a power user, I recommend Arch Linux. If you want a general good Arch Linux based distribution, just download Arch Linux out. 
Arca Linux L Arsenal. Like that, that I think that'd be perfect for many people. And yeah. So this is what I'd probably recommend to a lot of people. And to be honest, I I I really like the philosophy of Arca right here. Does that mean I'm gonna install it on my main machine? No. My and and that's not because I'm and that's not because like I'm against it. No, heck no. What my real problem is that the machine, if I'm in, if I'm to install Linux on my desktop, I need to do a command line install because there's one one part of grub that's gonna go bat. That's gonna go absolute crazy. It would not like I'd have to do in a couple more arguments, aka force the thing to go through and. Kind of Mars don't do that by default. So, yeah. So, this bullshit here. Hope to see y'all next time. See ya. If y'all like this type of content, make sure to drop a like. If you wanted to see more of this content, make sure to subscribe. If you don't like this content, or specifically this video, drop a dislike. And it'd be heavily appreciated if you were to also drop a comment explaining why you disliked the video some, and some issues. Also known as constructive feedback. I'll see y'all next time. See ya.